night is the night. The conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn, also known as the Christmas Star 2020. Welcome to Heavenly Backyard Astronomy. I do a lot of videos from my backyard garden. I call it the Heavenly Backyard Garden, well, because of the telescopes looking up at the heavens in this beautiful garden uh, display I have here in the backyard. As a matter of fact, here in Savannah, I have something in bloom just about every day of the year. Right now, the camellias are beginning to open up, and they'll be in bloom all winter uh, from December through, well, going into March. And then, of course, March, the uh, spring flowers start to bloom, actually starts before that even. But uh, if you like my videos, please subscribe to my page. Again, I do a lot of astrophotography on this page, even though I will slip in a few garden uh, views or tips now and then. Uh, what I love to do, and that's express my views of what I see up in the heavenly skies. Tonight is the night. Saturn and Jupiter will appear to be touching each other up in the southwestern sky. Now, I've been watching the two planets get closer and closer ever since early December using the uh, large Celestron 11 inch telescope. And uh, with that, using the, using the star Zona hyper star wide angle lens. Uh, this takes it from an F10 down to an F2 field of view. That way I was able to capture uh, Saturn and Jupiter uh, approaching each other up into the southwestern sky. Now, we've had a run of cloudy skies uh, uh, last week. I did get a couple nights of viewing. And then on Friday night, uh, the 19th of December, I was able to put on the uh, Celestron 7x, 0.7x reducer. This takes the field of view from F2 to F7, or actually F10 down to F7. And this gave, gives me a tighter view of the sky, and I was able to capture Saturn and Jupiter in the same field of view using this. However, last night the sky was totally cloudy, that was expected. Now at the night, as the sky continues to clear, I expect to have a great view of the two planets touching each other. And with that, I have the telescope back in its native form of F10. And that should give me a nice close-up view of the two super gas giants up in the sky. A lot of people are chatting about this is the Christmas star or representing the Christmas star or the Christmas star of 2020. But the question was, and the question still is, what was the Christmas star? So what was the Christmas star or the star of Bethlehem? Well, to figure that out, first of all, we have to understand when Jesus was born so we can look in the sky back at that time frame. One thing we know for certain, it most likely was not December 25th, the year one or the year zero AD, whichever you want to call that. It was most likely sometime between 4 BC and 7 BC. And it probably wasn't in the winter months either, probably in the springtime as the lambs were lambing in the field, which is indication that the uh, uh, springtime was occurring in Palestine. Now, the wise men or the magi that followed this particular star, who were they? Well, they were probably intelligent men, wise men, uh, uh, philosophers, uh, somewhat of a scientist back in those days, and very, very uh, well versed in the subject of astrology. Not astronomy, astrology, the study of the stars and how it affects the human nature and the nations uh, that were involved. And uh, Judea was associated with the constellation Aries, a little bit of Pisces, but mostly Aries. And Jupiter was a very prominent uh, god in the sky, the planet Jupiter, uh, which indicated power and dominion. And also Mars was very, uh, uh, very associated with the uh, uh, nation of Judea. So what if, it, the astrologers see something in the constellations or something up in the sky, the astrological information about that, that uh, time. Uh, what if something was going on in Aries that uh, involved uh, the moon, the sun, 
uh, Jupiter and Mars. That would be extremely interesting to the astrologers, and that would map out a great interest for the nation of Judea. Back in April of 6 BC, an event did occur. As a matter of fact, it was a spectacular event. Not something you see with the eyes, but something astrological. Jupiter and Mars were in the constellation Aries, and on the date in April, uh, the moon passed over Jupiter, which means occulted Jupiter, or passed over Jupiter. That provided significant indication or a very strong marker for astrological events. Now, that in itself meant something was ongoing uh, for the nation of Judea, according to the wise men or the magi from Persia. To see it once was spectacular. But to see it twice in one month was phenomenal. And that's exactly what happened. A month later, the moon again occulted Jupiter and passed over Jupiter uh, in the constellation Aries with Mars nearby. To the Magi, this can only mean one thing. Something spectacular has happened for the nation of Judea. And, you know, during that time, you know, the, the, the news of, of a Messiah was always on the... Uh, the lips of uh, many religious folks, and perhaps the Magi thought this event was marking the sign of the Messiah. They left their homes and traveled over desert lands and rough terrain to go visit this child that was perhaps born in Judea, and they went on their way. So, what was it? Well, we know it wasn't a, 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 a conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn. However, at that one time did occur. Uh, was it a conjunction of the planets? Well, yeah, probably not because it's fairly common uh, and it's not that spectacular up in the sky. So we look, we see Jupiter and Saturn now. I mean, we're talking about it, but it's not that spectacular view up in the sky. It's bright, but Venus is brighter in the morning sky right now. So what was the star of Bethlehem? Was it a comet? Well, most likely not, because comets are a harbinger of bad news or bad luck or bad things to happen, an omen of bad things. Uh, was it a nova? Well, there was a nova during that time period, uh, around 5 BC, but recent reports indicate that it probably wasn't bright enough to catch the attention of the Magi. But when you look at that astrological events, with the planet Jupiter and the moon and Mars all in Aries, that did most likely catch their attention. Well, if you want to know more, I wrote an article about this, and I'll have the link. Uh, well, there's the link right there. Uh, but it's also be on my page at the bottom in the comment area. Uh, you can just click on that. If you want to read more about what information I researched and thought what might have been the star of Bethlehem or the Christmas star. I call it the star of wonder. So it's, it's, and it's there on my webpage for you to look at. I'm into twilight now and I can see the planet. It looks like that, a planet. Actually, it's the two planets, Jupiter and Saturn. But up in the sky, looking with my eye, I can see them as just one star. But through the telescope, I'm still breaking it down. I can see Jupiter and then Saturn, or Saturn then Jupiter, depending on which way you want to look at it. But here we have it, the conjunction of Saturn and Jupiter, December 21st, 2020. The last time they were this close, was the days of Galileo back in 1623. And remember, the heavens are filled with majestic wonders all in a sky near you. Unless you need rain, clear skies everyone.